everyone and welcome to Creative Living. My name is Miranda. In this video, I'm going to make this gorgeous wall decor. I have seen just about on every designer website and uh, I'm really looking forward to making this. Let's go ahead and jump right into the video. In this video, I'm going to be recreating something like this. I really do like this one. Actually, this would be easier to make because Hobby Lobby sells those um, small mirrors and of all different shapes and sizes another one that i like is this one because it has kind of a rustic feel and let's see there was one more and i like this one too um all these have a pretty nice price tag on them so i'm looking forward to recreating something like this so let's jump right into the video i picked up uh six total uh long thick wooden dowels for 57 cents each at walmart and of course i painted those silver as well and i'm just going to kind of lay them out staggered uh one a little to the left on the top and one a little to the right on the bottom one and then i'm just going to take a pack of dowels and I, like i said i painted them silver and just start placing them in random places kind of like i've seen in some of the pictures of this design so after I have them all placed I'm just gonna take some glue and I'm using Gorilla hot glue and I'm just gonna go around and glue them into place and I'm wanting to really focus on the thicker ones that are in the center I use three vertical and three horizontal of the thick wooden dowels and glued the smaller ones onto it now so that it doesn't like melt off the wall or <laughs> fall apart to make it sturdy um i'm just gonna take some zip ties the zip ties are, are gonna secure it into place and i'm gonna go over each and every dowel with my zip ties each zip tie holds 18 pounds and I got a pack of 100 at the Dollar Tree. This was the only part that was actually really time consuming and it still only took about 15 or 20 minutes or so. And after I've gotten the, the little zip ties on there, I went to my husband's um, toolbox to find some heavier duty zip ties and I'm gonna go through with these black zip ties and uh, get the bigger dowels and just kind of you know tighten it and really secure it so I'll snip the back of all the zip ties and I'm checking the stability and durability of the design and I'm really loving the durability of it so I'll go ahead and flip it back over and now I'm ready to start uh, putting everything together All right, so now that we've got everything laid out and our zip ties on there. It's time for the fun part the 10 metal pieces from the Dollar Tree and just painted them silver So I'm just starting to kind of make my own design based on what I've seen on some of the other uh, designer websites and I started to use the um, square mirrors from the Dollar Tree and I was afraid those may be a little too heavy. And for video and purposes, I did just go ahead and use hot glue. Uh, but I do suggest using E6000 if you decide to do this and letting it sit overnight. And so instead of the um, square mirrors, and I do love this design, um, I just decided it was safer and better to use the regular mirror from the Dollar Tree just the uh, 11 by 15 that they have it is a lightweight and it's gonna stick a lot better than the other ones and I think this mirror is a little more common in all the Dollar Trees also um, but the tin now when you glue the tin it's gonna stick so be sure you have that right where you want it and the other wooden pieces that's so light and I'm really happy how it all held together I love how this turned out. I just love it. To cover any of the zip ties that are showing, I'm just using the napkin ring holders just like I did in the glam mirror. I'm just uh, bending them and they break. 
So, um, and if you've seen that video before, you know you can take a pair of scissors if it didn't break evenly because the plastic is so thin. It's just as easy as breaking any of the plastic silverware that you would use in a product. Not only does it hide the zip ties, I think it gives it a nice look because it's kind of a mirror finish. But if you need to see a little bit more on the napkin ring holders, I'll leave that video to, in the description box below so you can see it. And to uh, hang it on the wall, I'm just gonna take this fishing line and wrap it around here and wrap it around here and put it on two already existing screws. Hi everyone and welcome to Creative Living. In this video I'm going to show you guys how I made this It's backwards. <laughs> this this is how you put it together. She, 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 she <laughs> this is the back of it. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome to Creative Living. In this video I'm going to show you guys how I made this adorable, beautiful wall decor. I have seen it in a ton of places online and I'll share that with you. So let's jump right into the video. <laughs> you two ran down the, <laughs> the washer turned on. Uh -uh. 